Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and I'll be playing some chess today and see how it goes. We'll begin with 3-0. Okay, let's play d4, bishop on g5, restricting pawn movement from the opponent. I'll play pawn forward, then lining up my bishop. Can play h4 as well. Let's go in with the knight. Okay, can put the bishop backwards always. Um, let's play pawn forward here. Trying to develop my knight now, connecting both of them. Taking is one option, but I don't want to take right away. Well, I can get my queen here. The idea is if pawn forward, I can take with the bishop. Yep, opponent falls for it. And if now my opponent does take, I can take the rook as well. So my opponent doesn't, and I can take here. Opponent takes back with the knight. I have this pawn takes, but rather I'll go with knight, pressurizing the knight again. If my opponent castles, he loses a piece. So this is going to be tricky. If pawn takes, I can take back with the e-pawn and then castle queen side. Have a nice open file eventually. Okay. I think I should just take with the queen. Knight takes. Or queen takes. Let's not waste much time here. I'll take. Take the knight out. Planning to give a check. So pawn forward by the opponent. Can definitely come back with the bishop. With the idea of playing g4. Okay, can I play pawn forward? Takes, takes, takes. Um, or let's break it from here. If rook here, then I can do something about it. Um, pawn forward actually is not bad. My opponent can't take because the rook is hanging. And I can take with the pawn here. Let's change this and then castle. Have to defend the pawn next. Doesn't go for the pawn straight away, but eventually he will. So I'll just blockade that. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Uh, let's go here on the open file. Open, come here. Um, let's attack the bishop for now. The idea is to go here eventually. Okay, let's step up. So that rook exchange doesn't work. Pawn forward makes sense now. Okay, asking for bishop exchange. But I can do a bit better here, I think. Check would mean he has to lose the control of the bishop. And then I can take the bishop for free. So not going for exchanges straight away. But doing them on my own terms. I'll take with the bishop so that there's discover attack next once I move the bishop away. So my opponent resigns. So that's how you can play. That's pretty much comfortable. 30 moves. Had I taken with the rook, that could have been problematic. But let's analyze from computer perspective. D4, bishop g5, and then trying to play like a London system setup. Getting the knight out, pushing the bishop backwards, then connecting both the knights. And then queen goes to a4, and that was a bad move by the opponent b5. c4 would have got him some advantage because then I have to move the bishop back. And have to be careful because if I go in the wrong direction with the bishop, then this is coming. And then I am trapped, my queen is trapped. So have to be careful here. Could have, should have gone over to e2 then, 
and then get my queen backwards but then my opponent gains some momentum on the queen side meanwhile i haven't made any serious progress towards the king side so that would have been a tough game from there on if this happens and i go here open pushes i go back suddenly you have given a lot of space to the opponent and then open can castle as well so rather uh, but instead in the game my opponent played pawn forward to b5 that's a common mistake i've seen over the last few games when i've played as well so i took with the bishop and here our opponent should castle but doesn't and here i take on the knight first after my opponent takes with the knight again the right move was to get the knight into the attack that's what i did and then i took on not necessarily the right move but i wanted to spoil my opponent's castling i see opponents are pretty much uh players do depend on castling uh, i personally don't i don't mind if i don't castle in the game but players are dependent on it so i try to take that away from them and then getting the bishop back was on the same diagonal and then eventually pushing g4 as well with the idea of playing g5 someday but not straight away and here i played a pawn forward exchanged the pawns which was bad because eventually my opponent got some to play from there after we exchanged rooks then i had to castle and the rook comes here and i place the rook on the wrong place there bishop comes in and then i try to defend um then i can go back or okay this was actually a nice move i don't know why i missed it rook to b3 defends the pawn and attacks the bishop simultaneously uh i don't know why i didn't play it what was the threat here there was no such threat i think open queen should have just gone back for the time being and the next threat could have been bishop coming here but that's a bit far from straight forward uh instead in the game i attacked the bishop that way and then uh, my opponent tried to be cheeky trying to exchange bishops but then see that i can first give a check and after a check he tries to get the bishop back here um i can take with the rook or the bishop either way it works i took with the bishop my idea was to have a discover attack once i moved the bishop away from there and knowing that my opponent uh and that i'm away I'm ahead of in pieces in terms of an extra knight uh, and a decent pawn structure it was a close to impossible from here to for my opponent to uh, get a win from here i'll say close to impossible because anything is possible in chess there can be a stalemate option, but my opponent decided to resign from there. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with another interesting and instructive video from my side. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.